Hey everybody, I'm Kibastic. Today I have another puzzle on my table, which I printed with a 3D printer. It is called a mystery box or mysterious box. Today we have to solve it and find out what is inside. Regarding 3D printing, I have already talked a lot on my channel about this theme and the 3D printing is really unique technology that allows you to print a lot of things. And for example, this puzzle wasn't printed in parts, although there are some moving parts inside, but it was printed as wall piece standing on one platform. And the only thing, this little key was an additional detail, which was printed separately and made of other plastic. The author of this puzzle posted it on the internet with free access to it. Anyone can download a 3D model and print it, so many thanks to this guy. This is, by the way, his logo. His nickname is Make Anything, if I'm not mistaken. I'll leave a link to this puzzle in the description, but now let's look at it more precisely. Good news! From now on, new videos will come out on my channel every Tuesday and Friday, so subscribe and turn on all notifications not to miss them. As you already understood, the puzzle consists of two parts. One is a bit bigger, and it is uh, the main part. It is uh, the box itself, in fact uh, the puzzle itself with the mechanism inside, and a small key, which logically should help us somehow to solve this puzzle. There's even such a special place for it, it looks very stylish, and I also really like the colors and quality of the plastic I chose for this print. Hope everything is fully functional and printed very well. I have already printed a lot of puzzles on my 3D printer, showed them to you, and I'm not going to stop there. You can write in the comments right now what you would like me to print on my 3D printer. I will definitely read your comments, look at some of the most interesting suggestions and implement the best ones on my channel. As for the fully functional 3D printed Rubik's Cube, I'm working on it, and I hope that the video will come out soon, but not without your help. For this, I really need you to like this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel, all depends on you. This puzzle may be somewhat similar to the locks that I printed before and showed you. But the only thing is uh, that there are many more similar mechanisms here, and I wouldn't want to solve this puzzle with the timer, I just wanted to show you what 3D printing is capable of in our favorite field – puzzles. And we will just enjoy, stretch this puzzle solving process, fully show it to you, thus you will see a small overview of this puzzle and naturally the solving. Hope you will find it interesting. Let's start, we will not even set up the timer today. Guys, if you want to print the same puzzle at home, I want to recommend you a cool and not expensive 3D printer, BQB1. With it you can embody all your ideas on 3D printing and print out many interesting puzzles and any other things you want to. I recommend this printer because it has a large print area and works almost silently. The BQB1 printer provides excellent printing quality and it is fairly inexpensive. I will leave links to the websites where you can buy this printer and get a quick delivery anywhere in the world. So we can start solving this puzzle. With this key here, the only idea I have is uh, that it can be turned uh, here. So we insert the key in this way here, even if it is not fully inserted, and somehow it has to rotate here. To be honest, I don't yet fully understand how, but it should be done like this, that's for sure. Or I can do it from the other side, but the keyhole is too loose here. This is the hole in which uh, the key is inserted, it is completely empty, there is absolutely nothing in it. If you look there, it is really just an ordinary tunnel. The hole should serve for something. I see a carving in it, on this detail. Let's... Oh, by the way, look, we can rotate this carving with a key, by simply pushing the key forward. Damn, it works! Look how great it is! I'm rotating a special gear inside with a key. You can't reach it with your fingers, for this in fact you need a key. And this piece rises up. Look! Slowly, slowly it grows, twists along the curving. So, well, here it is, the detail is already near, what should I do next? Everything seems to be right. That's it. Okay. 
The first stage is over, and on this side the part went down. It seems to me that uh, this is something similar to the luck that we have already solved. If I turn this detail, it rotates inside. And we need to go through the labyrinth inside blindly. We have seen this before, ok, let's do this. Here you need to thoroughly check on the labyrinth and find where exactly the ledge is located. It's too dark. Why am I getting stuck? Stop. Look. Remember we turned this part with the curve and the key just now. And this way. And the wall detail was rotating. Yeah? But I noticed that if you take this part and turn it separately, then the curve itself doesn't rotate. The curve is a separate part from the inner bar. How did it all get printed? Raise the curve a little more. Oh, look by the way, now it has lifted itself up here. And I can unscrew it almost completely. And now, of course, everything is going as it should go. Ok, I got it. We need to gradually go through the labyrinth and, at the same time, turn this part. Because, as we already understood, the curving and the inner part are completely different, not connected in any way with each other. Therefore, the curving simply interferes with uh, this rod. And as soon as the rod moves, we can unscrew the curving. Brilliant! Damn, and what if I just went in the wrong direction? Through the labyrinth. Do I have to do it all over again? Unscrew all this stuff. Oh, damn! <laughs> we went ahead and completely unscrewed the curving, and now it doesn't bother us. Here it is, a separate detail, you can take a closer look at it. Amazing! How did it get printed out in one piece? Look, it doesn't interact in any way with the inner core, but it just adjusts the height. Now that we have rotated it, we must completely go through the labyrinth here. So, almost. Here, there is. I went out of the labyrinth, out of the labyrinth, but this part stuck. This is how I went through the last stages of this labyrinth. But it doesn't come out, because this notch on the right side is also part of the labyrinth. Look at this! It's just incredible! It just moved aside and now I need to find a solution. Here it is! Here... Here it comes! Yes! I took it out, but what can I do about it? <laughs> Damn, this is great! Let's take a closer look at this detail. Look, it was printed in such a column, and inside there is such a movable thing. Ok, let's move on. What can I do with it? Oh, we have... It seems to me this part is now the key for the second part, because it is uh, this part that exactly the same hole, the same shape as uh, the protrusion on this uh, second inner core. Let's call it this way. Uh, first of all, let's try to move it uh, like this. And somehow we need to match uh, these details. Now that's the key. I turn it and something comes out. <laughs> something. Ah! Uh, <laughs> we solved the puzzle. Look, there is an emoji here. This is our reward for solving this puzzle. As I understood, you can put something here. It is even possible to roll up a bill or a small reward and put it here. It is so cool, I've never seen a puzzle like this. And the most surprising part is uh, that uh, this puzzle didn't exist yesterday. I printed it on a 3D printer created from scratch thanks to technology and machine. And we found the smiley. We have solved this puzzle. I don't know how long it took, but it took a little over a day to print it, and it's worth it, guys. Really, these emotions are indescribable. 
and I don't even know what impressed me the most. The trick of this puzzle itself or the fact that uh, this piece is printed uh, with my 3D printer. And these are the details with curvings, with labyrinths, with parts that seems to be one part, but in fact there are two or something else. And how thoughtful it is! I am sincerely surprised, thanks very much to the author of this puzzle for what he came up with. I understood that I am still very far from this. Amazing! Fellows, I have nothing more to say. I'm extremely very much surprised, so I'll probably see you in the next videos and see what other incredible things I can print on a 3D printer. I will definitely show them to you, don't forget to leave the comments and yes, subscribe to the channel. I'll be waiting for you in the next video, that was Cubastic, bye everyone and have a good time! Aha, uh -huh, there he is! I see him! He watched the video to the end and didn't subscribe! I didn't come up with an ending to this joke.